Creator 6.5. High Logic Bot Creator 6.5. As you can see, I have a desktop item right here. High Dash Logic Bot Creator. Right here, it's a shortcut. I got a quick launch item. You can do that in the setup widget. Wizard, choose what you want. Make a copy. Do whatever you want. See, all right? So, um, you can make very cool fonts with this. A lot of, um, you know, capabilities you can do with this thing. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to install this program and how to use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Internet Explorer by Microsoft or whatever you have. Um, Mozilla Firefox or all that, whatever you want to use. Um, go to www. Just make sure that you're actually able to um, uh, use it with that internet, with that um, web provider, web browser. Uh, go to uh, www.google.com. I have I Google. A lot of you have uh, Google.com. Set as it's just the home page. It's the exact same thing, pretty much, except you have different. You can like add stuff to it. So anyway, uh, back to the topic. So what you want to do is you're gonna want to type in. Uh, Hi dash logic font creator no space then space after that six point five then search it all right so then you're gonna see something it says this font creator is probably the first one this is just my results um all right I'll just click on that. Here, all right, look at, all right, right here. Font Creator dash the most popular font editor. High Logic. Font Creator is the most powerful drawing tools that typo, typo uh, graphers and graphic designers require, and so on. Blah 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 blah. And uh, www. It's the link is www.high-logic.com/font-editor/one-creator.html. Um, this will be the first, the first result, It'll, the link will be in the description also, but you can look while I'm doing it, um, this year 2012, 21st century, so obviously this is going to probably be here unless another result that's added, um, by the same thing. Now, it's from Microsoft Windows, released November 8th, 2011, you can go ahead and read this, I'm not going to read this right now, the world's most popular font editor, starting at, uh, 79, um, Bucks. Uh, released on November 8, 2011, runs on Windows 2000 XP, Vista 7, 8, 32, 64 bit. It's for Microsoft Windows. R uh, and um, then you can either buy it or download now the free um, trial version. It still has a ton of uh, capabilities. Now the Windows 8 um, isn't out yet. It's um, just the beta, but um, when it comes out, you can do it. See how it says that? Um, when I click it, this is if you see a window behind it. It's nothing. It's just if I click save, then um, save it where I want to replace it. That's just the window behind it. It's just going to come up a little bit earlier. If um, your download does not begin in that amount of time, you could just click here. It's underlined. It's a link, and it's going to uh, be unshaded. And your mouse is going to uh, show that little hand there. All right. And um, then once that's loaded, it's almost done. We're just going to wait here. Um, the reason it popped up because I already have it. That's why it says, are you sure you want to replace the file? Most of you might not have it, so that's why you're probably watching this video. And then you just click, um, OK. All right, open the folder. Or yes, no, whatever. Uh, Font Creator Setup. You want to double click on that or right click, open. Um, welcome to the Font Creator. This should look at it. It should have a uh, F right here with a little old style pen. Design Fonts Editor. All that stuff. The notebook. Welcome to the Font Creator Setup Wizard. This wizard. This will install HighLogic Font Creator 6.5 on your computer. It is recommended that you close all other applications before continuing. Click Next to continue or cancel exit setup. All right, you can read all this stuff right here, all this, but um, the only way to get past it is to click I accept the agreement. Do not click I do not accept the agreement unless you don't like this agreement. Then click Next. Click where you want it. Click that again. Uh, I want the quick launch slide on that, and I want the desktop, just the quick launch down here. You can choose if you want the icon big or small in the settings if you click on this. Um, the, it's right here, that's what the, uh, I showed you earlier in the video. Uh, probably in a lot of my videos you guys have been noticing that. Um, yeah, so uh, not all of them, just some of them. Uh, yeah, not all of them, just some of them. 
also, um, then just go ahead and click next, install, just wait for that install, it's gonna take that long, just shortly, um, so you just click launch font creator, uh, finish, uh, you don't have to check that, now here's the tricky part, uh, like I said, the buy, you don't want to buy it, you just click enter registration code, buy online, click use, see they trick you, it's already outlined, that's what the one is, click use evaluation version, see this is day three of it, this uh, version will run for 30 days evaluation with the registration code if it has not been run before, and um, the thing is, um, make as much uh, fonts as you can, save them, um, I'm going to show you what you can't really save them, unless you do this one thing, I'm going to show you how, uh, yeah, so make as much as you can before it runs out, so it's probably going to pop up, and you're going to be like, what the heck is this, and then you're going to remember, oh yeah, it's a font creator, just click no, or whatever it says, I haven't gotten to that yet, so you're just going to go on and click, uh, use evaluation version, I don't know how to buy it online, whatever, uh, you're probably going to have to enter a lot of stuff, so just click this, this is the free version only, this video, um, yeah, so just click use evaluation version, um, this is don't show this again, just click close, uh, you're going to want to create a new one, a font family name, um, I'm just going to put, um, bold, so it'll come bold for me, now right here, it's going to come all these letters up here, I'm going to click productive loss of 19, I'm going to make it, uh, so I got it off Google Images, a D, a golden D, I'm going to click on the D, I'm going to double click on it, another thing is going to come up here, I'm just going to open this, uh, make bigger, maximize it, uh, then I'm going to, you're going to right click on it, import image, then see gold letter D1, click open that, and then you're going to want to see, like, if you, how, how you want it to look, I'll just make it look, um, um, that's good for me, and, um, generate, just wait for it to load, alright, now it's going to have this big D right here, and, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much now you can see how it was made and all that. So then just go back to this. You got your D right here. Um, let's see. One second. Just going to put this now. Paint. Oh, not paint. Sorry, it's just, um, my stuff I had popped up here. Um. Alright, so this is, like, vertically if you want. Alright, never mind. So, um, this one, this isn't a virus. I just clicked something, um, on the Windows thing. Alright, so, um. Uh, what you're going to go on and do is, um, you're going to want to click on, um, start. I'm going to see if I could, um, get this in a cool way to work. Oh, I just clicked something. It's going to, all right, notepad. Oh, so I copied something else. Um, let's see. Okay, so what you want to do is get back to that window right there. Minimize it. I'll just line it vertically, um, horizontally, I mean, uh, I mean vertically, one sec, like, yeah, vertically, and this right here, I want to make it, uh, whatever, vertic, however, um, alright, like this, and then, um, this is going to come up, I'm going to go back to this window, uh, got the D, uh, right, and then you're going to want to click on, um, add, and then you just put in, uh, let's see, cut, um, look for the U, just make it, um, I'm just going to put a U in here, alright, so, the thing to make a U, all you have to do, you can look for Google Images, import it. Um, what I'm going to do, you see, I'm just going to make that, make a U like here, like this. For, uh, that. I'm good. Um. 
then you just click on this hand when you're done to generate it. Uh, all right, so now I got this. All right, and then um, now you can go back, click this slide, now you got a U. And um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click um, copy, then go up here, click paste, and now you got the U. Um, then the C, I'll just show you how to do this real quick, then I'll just do this. Uh, make a C like, all right, like that. All right, now I'm done. So I click this. It's uh, retrieving all the stuff for it, generating it. Um, now I am done. So um, all right. So now I'll make this. Uh, click copy, paste. Ducky. All right, now I got a D. Now I'm just gonna. Open this, um, do the drawing, just make a K. I'm not going to make my whole name because it will take too long and make the video boring, but you get the whole concept um, of how to make this thing. Alright, so that's pretty much all you need to do. Then I'll just... Um, um, yeah, so it's pretty much just um, go back to this. Now you got a K. Um, click copy, paste. All right, now if you click the um, file save, see it's gonna come up as this. So what you're gonna wanna do is click um, save all. So see, it's gonna keep clicking, uh, doing all that stuff. So, what I'm really going to do is I'm just going to do this. So, I have a duck right here. Um, I'm just going to do this, alright? So, I'm going to click, open that up fully. Find where I put the letter. Alright, I got it right here. So, you're going to exit out. Yes. Okay, so see, it's not going to let you do that. Alright, so those are all the fonts you can do. You at, um... I'm going to cut that. I'll just go to... Um, yeah, then... Um, this will come up. This will come up. Alright, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's just a draw. I have to do whatever it is. Okay, so, um, yeah, I lost my D in here, but. Unfortunately, um, there is no other way that you can, um, get that to, um, work a different way to save it like that. Um, if I do, I will, um, make another video on this, and I'll tell you how to do it. It'll be part two of this. So, uh, yeah, but, um, I'll probably come up with the idea for that. Uh, yeah, so, um, then you can copy, paste in the notepad, and then make it into an image file. I'll teach you how to do all that in the next episode. So, I hope this, um, episode, um, this uh, video is very, 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 very helpful to you, and um, the next one I make will probably be more helpful. So um, on part two of this. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and uh, yeah, bye.